The Republican presidential field is smaller this morning in a surprising move. Governor Scott Walker revealed Monday he is suspending his campaign. More than a dozen candidates are still chasing Donald Trump. And Carly Fiorina is now his strongest competitor. Major Garrett is in Charleston, South Carolina, where Fiorina will speak later today. Major, good morning. Good morning. We're here to see Carly Fiorina, who has climbed from the bottom to near the top of the Republican presidential field, a field that waved goodbye to Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker yesterday. Walker quit after seeing his lead in Iowa and his standing nationally plummet. Just a couple of months ago, Fiorina was the longest of long shots and Walker a genuine contender. But in this season of the Republican presidential novice, change can be cruel. I will suspend my campaign immediately. I encourage other Republican presidential candidates to consider doing the same so that the voters can focus on a limited number of candidates who can offer a positive, conservative alternative to the current frontrunner. That frontrunner would be Donald Trump, who no longer sounds as confident about winning the GOP nomination after a new poll showed his support softening. I don't think panic is a word that I use, but, you know, sure, I'd like to stay on top. I'm going to do what's right. If I don't okay. make it, that's okay. I'll go back to having a good time and building a business. Trump sparked controversy last week when he failed to correct a town hall questioner who incorrectly described President Obama, a Christian, as a Muslim and not an American. That prompted Ben Carson, currently running toward the top of the pack in the polls, to say he would not support a Muslim running for president, a sentiment he amplified Monday. Uh, absolutely, I stand by the comments. We do not put people in the leadership of our country uh, whose faith might uh, interfere with them carrying out the duties of the Constitution. No. Former Hewlett-Packard CEO Carly Fiorina, gaining support after her recent debate performance, disagreed with Carson during an appearance on The Tonight Show. I think that's wrong. You know, it says in our Constitution that religion cannot be a test for office. Another late-night presidential contender, Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz, joked about a key campaign qualification. Running for president is, is, is real simple. <laughs> you walk up to total strangers, you go, hi, how are you doing? Can I have money? Over the weekend, Walker's top supporters urged him to shake up his national campaign staff, plow money into Iowa, and fight on. Walker quit instead. And Charlie, top Republicans are stunned that two of the party's most successful governors, Walker in Wisconsin and Rick Perry in Texas, have already folded up their presidential campaigns before the fall. Thanks, Major.